It is a cold night in western Pennsylvania as we bring you inside Heinz Field here in Pittsburgh. They love the black and gold here in the Steel City. And a few moments ago, their Steelers emerged from the Heinz Field Tunnel. They're set. We're set as the Steelers are ready to do battle. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. With the Washington football team. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Brings up second and A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now Smith. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. They did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. From the gun, here's Smith. And he finds McLaurin. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. And the Washington first down. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. And he stopped immediately there. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. There on the tackle. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 47-yard line. On second down, here's Smith. And that is incomplete here. Smith's pass thrown away and incomplete. It's third down and 10 yards to go. They come up to the line now facing a third and 10 after the incompletion. Out of the gun, Smith. And that is incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. Here's the Pro Bowl punter, Tress Way, on to punt for Washington. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll throw from the gun. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> that's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. First carry for the 2018 Pro Bowler, James Conner. And he's got it across the midfield, striped it into Washington territory. The tackle by Cole Holcomb. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From just shy of midfield, Roethlisberger. That one into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. 
And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there on the first down. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. The 23-yard line. They'll run with the NC State man. It's Jalen Samuels. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. This is Johnson, he's got it. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor, and he'll take this one down near the 15. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now, Ben going to give this one to Connor. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Roethlisberger. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Certainly not what they wanted there. No gain, and it's fourth down. So unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there on third down. And ordinarily on third down, that's when you want to bring pressure. You get all your guys who want to get after the quarterback. But how about the patience they showed? Read the play, snuffed it out, and made a nice stop. And Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. Danny Johnson returning. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. 
And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. A gain of 19. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. They'll run on first down. Gibson. And he's going to get this one down near the 45 yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. A three yard well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. He's brought down at the four. Well, that rate picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league and trying to get first downs unless you're playing four down football. Then that's a whole different situation, but I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. From the gun on third down, Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. On fourth down, Smith over the middle, it's Thomas. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. And to give this time to the tailback. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. A shotgun snap for Smith. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run this one in. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Punching it in from a yard away. And Washington has taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead.
Dustin. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat in the driver to get it to 25-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Montez Sweat showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. So after the sack here, second and 14. They go draw play. This is Samuels. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Steelers three. So here's a first and ten at the 38. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. He'll get that one complete to Connor. That catch good for only a couple. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. To throw here, Roethlisberger. And that's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And it's third down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Incomplete. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Jordan on fourth Barry. down, here comes a Steeler punter, Jordan Berry, to kick it away. Steven Sims set to return it for Washington. And a great job on special teams to down it, as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And they'll come out with a three-tight end look on the first play of the drive. They run with a former Buccaneer. It's Peyton Barber. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. On second down now. It's Gibson, and the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. All right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I 
would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. You got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. He showed off the athletic juke, but it didn't buy him a whole lot of real estate. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. But they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Taking on the midfield logo. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. Now the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. First and 10. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. He was able to run free after the catch. He gets it left side to Johnson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. That's complete, right around the eight. And he takes it inside the 10 to the eight before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the pickup, and it's a second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And boy, this burgundy and gold defense charged up now. They stop him behind the line again. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And the Steelers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. So that'll back him up five. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Now Roethlisberger to throw. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. They'll look to run with Connor. And boy, this burgundy and gold defense charged up now. They stop him behind the line again. He lost two there, and it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. 
That is caught. It's Juju for the Steeler touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Steelers are going to retake the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Makes the score Steelers 10, Washington 7. The tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. A gain of 13 Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And he'll give it here to his running back. The big man, Tyson Alualu, there to make the tackle. Tyson Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 40 now on second down, Smith. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And this throw will be intercepted and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And he will bring it. And he will score. Touchdown, Washington. Steven Sims, Jr., taking it in. And Washington has once again taken the lead. I'm glad we were paying attention during the rules seminar because we learned the only time you can't advance a fumble like that is in the last two minutes of either half. Right. Other than that, if that ball's out, whether forward or backwards, it's live and free for anybody. No doubt about it. When you say free, that means he's got free reign to pick it up and go. And that's exactly what happened there. Took it in for a touchdown. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they still with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Second and 10, it's Roethlisberger once more. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Chase Young in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. 
A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. First and 10 at the 30. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Roethlisberger. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. The intended receiver there, the rookie Chase Claypool. But it'll be second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. No luck whatsoever there on the draw. Yeah, they're supposed to use their aggressiveness against them. That was the hope. But maybe they had too big of a meal last night. A half step slow, and he ends up running right into the meat of the defense. On third down, Roethlisberger. Ebron caught left side. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now they'll run on the draw. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. He's brought down at the 20 So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 16 yards, a first down. First down. But how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. First and 10, Smith. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. The sack by T.J. Watt, or as his mother Connie calls him, Trent Jordan Watt. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And the pressure gets to him again. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. here to his running back and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage and 
Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Now Roethlisberger on first down. To the right side to Eric Ebron. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. First down. Ebron with it over the middle. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Now the pass finding its way into the hands of Eric Ebron. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. On first and 10 is counter, and he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. The ball carrier. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. To throw on second and six, Roethlisberger. Johnson with a completion over the middle. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. Now Roethlisberger getting this one into the hands of Smith-Schuster. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. 
They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Set him back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Connor. He'll get three of those penalty yards back here, leaving him with a second and 12. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. On second down, Samuels. Down right around the 25. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Ninth play of the drive coming up and certainly not an easy one on third and long. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. Yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He hit his first, this one from 38. Boswell's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. And all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. And I would say that you pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in courts, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. Returning it, Johnson. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. First possession of the second half now for Washington. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. It's a pickup of six. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Smith. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Bud Dupree. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. 
And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Taken in at the 22. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field, and they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. You know the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And he is going to recover his own fumble, but boy, a big, big loss on this play. Wow. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and... And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. Montez Sweat, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. And they can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. The Washington offense set to take over. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Three yards the gain there, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 42-yard line. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. From the gun, here's Smith. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. McLaurin. A gain of four, and it's third down. The Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Out of the gun, Smith. The Steeler defense locked in, forcing an upcoming fourth down. And that one off the mark, a little late with a throw. Patrick on the coverage. So now on fourth down, Washington will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. This from 54 yards away. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I feel very confident about this kick, but let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. They'll start the drive with Samuels, pushing forward for three up to the 48. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. 
three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's Roethlisberger firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll try and run for it with counter. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? On first down, it's Roethlisberger. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Roethlisberger's pass. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Roethlisberger. That one caught by the rookie, Chase Claypool. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line, 24-yard line. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On first down, it's Connor. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. On the pickup, it's second and inches. Now it's Roethlisberger. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen, this is Samuels. Good contain, no gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. I know you've got a baseball background, right? A little bit. Yeah. Started in minor league ball. Yeah, you did some of that, right? What do they do when they do the signals? An indicator, right? It Tells starts... whether it goes or not, yeah. Yeah, whether the play's on or not. How about the indicators offensive linemen give when they're getting ready to run a screen pass? And if those get red, <laughs> well, we just saw that there, didn't we? No gain. No gain. Deciphered it and finished the play off. So that's a big one. Obviously, Charles makes it a two-score game, his third field goal of the game, able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense, you get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game. So they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. On 
first down, Smith. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Okay. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Washington. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He was trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, and it's second down. They're down two scores, and they need a quick one to try and get back into this one. That was one way to try and get it done. Unsuccessful in the attempt, but they have no choice but to keep trying. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Throwing again, Smith. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Bud Dupree able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now he's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? They snap it to Smith. And he finds McLaurin. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. It's a pick One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. To throw again on second down, Smith. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll run on first down. Gibson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Washington on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This will be third and five. That's caught. It's Thomas. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. A shotgun snap for Smith. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. 
so a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Operating from the gun, Smith. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Steven Sims there to make the grab. And Washington has made this a one-score game. An out route there for the score, a quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really surveying the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands, knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. Extra point good by Hopkins. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Dustin. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score. But bottom line, they are still on top with the football. And a touchdown on this drive would really put them in position A. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start the drive with a give to Connor. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Brings up second and three at the 35-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Chase Young, his second sack of the night. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. So the sack and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. Smith on first down. And the catch made by Dontrell Enbin. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Smith. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Operating from the gun, Smith. The throw taken in by Sims. 
And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. Now they have completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's McKissick. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Stephon Tewitt, the one that got him down. Defense simply not fooled by the draw there. Well, they were thinking run to begin with, and what they tell their defensive linemen is, play the run on your way to the quarterback. If someone shows, go get him, and that's exactly what they did. On second down, here's Smith. That's complete right around the eight. And here he'll get it down to the seventh. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. From the gun, Smith. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It's now a fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for the lead in the final stages. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So Big Ben and the Steelers now. Down 17-16, a minute 54 on the clock. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. He's back to throw. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. 
And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Two-minute drills, they're tough enough, pressure-packed enough, and these elements makes it significantly tougher. And you don't have the margin where you can say, okay, I can allow for certain things and maybe change up a little bit. Because it's a two-minute situation, you've got to try and make the same plays you would make if the elements didn't exist. That one into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. Uh, he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. They'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Second down. Johnson. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Here now is second and ten again from the 41. Back to throw. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. 12 yards there and a first down. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is indeed good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. Nothing easy about that one. And these elements in the snow, but he's able to put it home in what looks to be the game winner. <laughs> and you know, I have problems with the footing just walking from the bus to the stadium. I can't imagine being called to kick in this stuff with the game on the line. But he appeared to have zero issues whatsoever. send it away Johnson now returning and they'll start this drive just across the 30 pretty nice work on the return now we get another look at Washington on offense look at the clock everyone knows the situation probably time here for one final play 
and we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Think back to 2015. Didn't we see Green Bay pull that off yep, twice absolutely. in the season? <laughs> and a Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.